I, David John Warren. I, Megan Rose Schofield. Take you to be my wife. Take you to be my husband. David and Megan, you are now lawfully married. Husband and wife, you may kiss your brow. Megan made it clear that she wanted it to be romantic and loving. So I did that. But before I deliver that speech, I've got a story to tell you. <laughs> Some of you might warn you. But I think it's worth telling you again. <laughs> On the day she was moving in, I was at work and she just dropped off her last bag. Anyway, next thing I get a phone call about your uh, fire alarm going off and the smoke coming underneath your door. <laughs> Two minutes later, she rings about. Hello. <laughs> I, uh, I might, I might have left a candle on. <laughs> Since the time Megan dropped off her bag, which is basically she's officially moved in, <laughs> is half an hour before she destroyed the lot. But even after that, after all that, I never doubt that I want to spend the rest of my life with this girl. And today's the happiest day of my life, and I get to do that. Not only is she beautiful, kind, and caring, but also turns out we're a perfect match. So if you can just make sure your phones are turned to silent. Uh, the toilets are just through there if you're desperate. <laughs> and if there's a fire alarm, it's probably got something to do with Megan. <laughs> so Mrs. Warren, and today you're a bride. I can't tell you how much my heart feels with pride. <laughs> Now then, on to my little grey-haired mate, Was. He's, he's got a heart of gold, but he has got a very short fuse. He's just a nasty little five-footer. So I'm just going to finish up by saying how proud I am to be sat up here with Megan and Was on their biggest day of the life. I wish them all the very best for the future, so... Can we all raise a clap to Megan and Was?